highlights trading in the heyday at the Chicago Board of Trade. It is very difficult to make money in this environment. The film is called Pit Trading 101. The producer, director, and former trader who appears in the documentary joins us on set this morning, Jonathan Honig, better known as a capitalist pig. Welcome to our show. It's Thank great you, to have Angie. you here. We see you on Fox. And you're joining us today. Thank you. Happy to be with you. So tell us about your film. You brought some trading cards to prove you were there. Yeah, well, if you wanted to be a trader, this is what you used to have to wear. You had to have the cards. You have to have the badge. You'd have to have the, the raggly voice. I mean, trading was a lot more than just point and click just 15, 16 years ago. And that's when Pit Trading 101 actually was originally shot. Back then in the late 1990s, I was one of these very young students just learning the intricacies of what was called open outcry trading, actually having to stand in the pit and make trades like, like a Chicago local, like they had run for over 160 years. So this film was shot back then, then finally put together just in the last few months, now that open outcry trading and the floor as we know it has, has gone. Will it ever make a comeback? Just as we won't have elevator operators anymore. We won't have Pullman porters. It's over. It's over. And you know, even talk to young traders today, young people, the notion of having to physically write down your trades on cards or, or, or you know, master oh, your they signals. they have tablets now. They Ex don't need any exactly. of that. Handheld, I mean, it's all electronic. Th this mechanism has been replaced. That's a good thing. But unfortunately, what's been lost is that very unique community that existed right. on the trading floor, right down to the language that we used. You know, right now, if you want to sell something at a price of 25, you push a button. Back then, you may better make sure that you signal 25 in the correct way because if you were doing this instead of this you would have sold 75 instead of 25. And the feel of the floor there were actually bond traders who left CBOT and then came back because they missed the feel of the crowd the roar from the floor just wasn't there when they were trading at home. Okay there are other films out there such as The Pit and Floored. How is your film different? A lot of those films focus on the transition from the electron from the the open outcry world to the electronic world you know pit trading 101 is specifically about what it was like i mean most people have had at some point the dream of putting on a trading jacket stepping into what was called for years the last bastion of pure physical capitalism the trading floor so pit trading 101.com lets you do that and quickly before you take off what do you think about the market about the stock market yeah we're heading for a rally or a valley well, you know, I, <laughs> markets are volatile. They always will be. I think the real action, Angie, however, is going to be not so much in stocks, but in bonds. You know, I was a bond trader back in 1996 and 1997. They've been on the 30-year bull market. So if I was going to sell a market short right now, it would be the bond market, not the stock market. Jonathan, thank you for being here. And the movie, again, is Pit Trading 101. Thank you. Yes. You can find it at pittrading101.com.